Hello everyone, uh, this is Subramanyam Jairam Subhu. Uh, today we're going to see the hybrid cost method in Oracle Cloud uh, environment. So hybrid cost method is nothing but uh, when you have the finished code or the final assembly will be in uh, one cost method. All the components, uh, those who are consuming to complete the finished code will be in the different cost method. In this scenario, I have taken one FG item, final assembly as a standard cost. All the components are in the actual cost method. So we'll see how to, uh, what type of configuration we did in the system and then how to perform the transactions. And I will show you the costing side, how the cost is consumed, how cost is showing from finished code assembly and then the components. So if you go to the system, uh, I have defined this item final assembly. Underneath we have three components. We have created a bill of material for this bill of material or the work stru item structure in the final assembly. And then we have assigned all the three components for this final assembly. For example, if you see this uh, primary in the product definition, uh, we have assigned all the three components for this assembly item. Okay. And then how the cost is segregated how the costing is defined for this. I have defined some costing categories. For example, for the final assembly is a standard cost. You see here, standard cost I had defined as a category. And then I have gone to, if you go to the all the components level, I have defined average cost is a category. For example, go to categories, and then you can see here, this is the average cost. So that this is the uh, segregation to define what item need to be uh, based on what costing method. This is this feature is applicable only in Oracle Cloud. In EBS, we don't have this option. So I'll go to create a work order for the, I'll, before going to work order, let me show you in the costing side quickly, how the cost books are assigned and the valuation units. Go to the cost accounting, go to the uh, uh, review, cost accounting distributions. And before that, go to the task pane, go to the manage, review item cost. If we give this item cost is just like I'll query all these items, like start with SG underscore, and then before on or after this one, on or before this one. So if you go see here, this is my final assembly and this all the components, right? And then this is the cost which I already used for these items. And then you can see here, this is the standard cost, the costing method, you can see the final assembly is a standard cost. All the components are classified as an actual, I mean the perpetual average costing method. So when I go and define any work orders, and then the costing will be taken based on that, what the cost method is defined. I have created all the work order, already one work order. I'm going to show you that work order, review work order cost. And I'll give this work order number here. SG-002 is my work order. And then I'll uh, go and click search. And this is the work order cost. Go to review distributions. And then you can see, uh, uh, if you go a little bit right, you can see that uh, work order and then if you go Additional details, list of additional details. If you go here, uh, view details. Uh, this is one of the development environment, which an environment, uh, it will take a bit time. So this feature is applicable only in uh, Oracle Cloud. We don't have these features in EBS functionalities. So here's another place where you can see the receipt layers of what type of how I receive this material into this uh, system. The other way that if you go here, toss pain, review cost accounting distributions, and then you give this uh, uh, one, I'll give the cost organization US operations, and then my cost book is financials, I mean the primary cost book, and then I'll give my items to start with the uh, yes underscore and then click search. Uh, if you want, you can give a reference number also here. So let me show you that. Expand the search, go to advanced, 
I can give my reference number SJ iPhone 002 is my work order which I have created and completed and closed it. Click search. And then we'll show you that work order. The work order we have, this is the final assembly. Underneath we have all the three components. Let me show you the work order details in the different tab so that you'll understand easily. So manage work orders and uh, SG iPhone 002, I'll go for all, click search, and then uh, open the work order number, and then go to the operations. You can see, this is my final assembly, SJ AS4751200. Underneath we have three components which already applied, and then there are some resources also got uh, consumed for this work order. And then if you see here in this work order, how the cost got complete, I mean, they're distributed here, like uh, if you go a little bit right, the work order production completion material issue, right? All those things you can see here. And then if you see the work order number, and then you can see here, standard and averages. This is the cost profile, which we have defined. If you click this standard cost profile, it will show you this is the standard cost method. Cost method is standard cost. Uh, which is which is uh, linked to my final assembly item. If you click this average cost profile, it will show you this perpetual average cost method, which is linked to my component. So this is how you can able to drill down how the what cost method is applied for what component, all the details, right? So this is uh, this is one of the best feature in Oracle Cloud. You can use. Uh, all raw materials may be in a different cost methods like standard cost or actual cost or perpetual cost. And then you, if you want to final assembly in a different cost method, you can do that. Or the other alternative way, my primary cost book will be in the standard cost for the simulation and reporting purpose I can use for standard actual cost or perpetual average cost as my simulation as a reporting center lecture also you can use that. So there are multiple Basically, you can use the costing methods very flexibly in Oracle Cloud. So please let me know if you have any questions anytime. Please reach out to me. My name is my name is Subramanian Jera. My email is subuj1978 at gmail.com or my mobile number is 518-577-2430. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.